what we n- have to have mm-hmm. now are people who understand the difference between right and wrong and are willing to stand for that truth mm-hmm. in an increasingly hostile mm-hmm. society. The point is people think politics is dirty. Mm-hmm. That this is dirty business. As Christians, we should not dirty our hands this. Let me tell you why it's dirty. Because Christians aren't in it. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, when, when we, if we want righteous government, if we want good government, We've got to put good people in it. And right. that's what we need today. We need men who rightly discern the times and can d- rightly divide the word of God and provide solutions to the problems that America is facing. When Xerxes said to Leonidas with his 300 men there and Xerxes with his massive army said to him, lay down your weapons, Leonidas sent the message back and said, Molan Lebe. Come and take them. Hmm. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm at the point now where I'm saying, Molan Lebe, to those in Washington, to those in the special interest groups that want to take my liberties, that want to rob my grandchildren of the opportunity to live in the kind of America that I grew up in, I'm at the point where I'm saying, Molan Lebe, because I will not be silent. I will not sit on the pews confident in my salvation. I know I'm going to heaven. I know that I've been redeemed of my sins. But that's not enough. God has given us some very specific commands in terms of what we are supposed to do as this kind of thing happens to the whole world, but especially in our country. Mm -hmm. And it is a time for the Christians, Christian leaders, spiritual people to get involved in what's happening in this country. You know, we've got far more than enough people if we will take our stand and resolve, we will not retreat. Mm-hmm. That we will take our stand now, we're not going back any further, and we're going to recover all that was lost. We've got more than enough people to do it. We need to bind together into a fellowship of those who are willing to do this. We're starting, we're part of starting something of a fellowship. It's called 300. You'll hear more about it. We're not going to retreat any further. We're going to take a stand. This country had solid biblical and moral foundations, a Judeo-Christian heritage that is being robbed from us, being robbed from our children, from future generations. We're saying no more. We are not retreating any further. 